Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Fjordor, and this video is going to show you how to navigate in a quick guide over to the Jotunheim area. Now we're going to go ahead and start traveling there now. Now, Jotunheim is one of the most unforgiving zones in all of this map. Probably in all of Ark, in all honesty. It's worse than Murder, Murder, Snow. It is very scary to go here, but that's kind of the point. It's not supposed to be something that should be free. There are a few spots, I will say this now, there are a few spots that you can get to where you will not have any sort of freezing effect. No, that is not a joke, that is real. So having a base there could be very beneficial for some PvP people. Now, it is a very difficult thing to do, but you could do it. Now, I'm going to show you everything you need to know from tames to things that you want to get here resource-wise, everything. So, let's go ahead and get started. Obviously, you can see that my character is just going to instantaneously poop the entire time we're here. You can see right here, so we're going to go ahead and look at it, negative 44 degrees Celsius. That is hard to overcome. If you get a hold of a... Let me show you a couple of basic things that you can do. You can use a otter if you want to. You can use some fur gear, but I'll show you the basic fur gear. This is not a joke, so I'm going to go ahead and show you here. It's not going to work very well for you. So you can see negative 44. We're still ice cubed. We're still pooping because it doesn't give you enough hypothermic insulation. You're still not going to be able to survive. Now, there are other things that you can take. You can use a form of, I'll show you right now, where is my tech canteen. Tech canteen will help you out a ton. Just one tech canteen will help you out. So what you can do with this is you, instead of changing it to cold, you're going to turn it to hot. And all you have to do is find some water to fill it up in. Now, it is something that is uh, very useful. However, getting to the water can be quite a pain in the butt. So let's go ahead and get some water in this bad boy real quick. And then I'll show you why it's such a useful thing. So now that we've got it, we'll drink this, please. No, we're not going to. Okay, so. You can see it does prevent us from freezing and it gives us a little bit of a boost here. We are no longer pooping, however, we are still freezing solid. So a tech canteen will help a ton if you can get a tech canteen. Add in an otter and you basically have nothing to worry about. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the obelisk right here and I'm gonna show you a couple of basic things. So the obelisk is kind of like my rooting point on this area. So, just so you can see at 87.2, 26.5 is the cords of the obelisk. This obelisk also, just so you can see, this is where you would fight the bosses. Or that's the special boss on the map, the Fenrir, I don't know, Fenrir Sulfur? I don't really know how to say it. But the Fenrir Sulfur, that's how you battle it. Now, a couple of basic things. So, there's a hang to the left strategy and a hang to the right strategy. You don't really want to go across the middle of this map because it is large, open, barren, and yeah, you're just going to get lost and it sucks. Pretty much every snow creature is what you find here. You can see there's snow owls out in front of me. You got the woolly rhinos. Um, there is a special creature on this map. It is very difficult to find. There isn't necessarily a spawn point for them. They will kind of just like run all over the place. So the only way to find them is to adventure around and get lucky. Now, that being said, I have a way to kind of get past all that. So I'm going to use a mod in order to help me with this. We're going to go and dino scan for the Fenrir. Now, the Fenrir isn't even on the map right now. That's how rare of a spawn it is. But they do spawn in this zone. So if you were to find one, they look like a wolf, but they're a little bit bigger. And they have like a little mean look to them, like they're a little more aggressive looking. So what do you need to know about this area other than that? We're going to go ahead and make sure we constantly take this... Um, click for the mouse button, click for the uh, canteen, otherwise we will die. See, we only have 12 seconds left. You need to make sure you're paying attention to that because you have to survive this zone. Having an otter plus tack canteen, you can even get some of the other soups and stuff like that that'll give you the boosts. Better fur will help a ton, and you'll see that I'm starting to poop immediately again because that's kind of what this map does to you. So keep that tech canteen ready to go. All right, so what you can do is if you stay to the left, you're going to end up running into a couple of artifact caves and generic caves in general. Now, there are some very useful things about this area, so I'm just going to go and show you. So if you stick to the left, you'll also kind of realize that it's just a giant circle. This entire map is just a giant circle that you can kind of run down and not have to worry about a whole heck of a lot. So you can see this path right here. This path can be really useful for you. You can take this path the entire way around, I believe, which is kind of useful. Um, and, that, and that's something that's very beneficial, obviously, because using a path is always preferred to not using a path. Um, 
and uh, you can I'll go ahead and show you what ghosting through the walls looks like so you can see caves and stuff like that so if I go down into the ground here you're gonna notice a couple of basic things there's a lot of death looking stuff and there's a lot of generic no caves there's only two well in all honesty so it's not like there's a whole bunch of hidey areas so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one this is the ice wyvern scar yes this right here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop up here's the cords of it just so you can see real quick 6131. Again, look at the temperature here. 13 degrees Celsius. So you can build in here. It is not cold in any of the caves in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the entrance to this right here. 6532. Just so you can see. 6532. And you will be able to get to the ice wyverns. Now they will end up getting above like you see right there. But if you just hang to the left and find where the ice kind of covers, the first spot where the ice touches, drop down and you will end up in the ice wyvern scar now that is one way to do it and if you go right here you can see that there is no way to access it um, however i'm just going to show you something real quick so this entire area anytime you see an underground zone it gets rid of the buffs of the map so if you find that underground zone the temperature will rise you can see 12 right there and all you have to do is find a area that is not above the ground and you will be able to survive Look at that, 12 degrees Celsius. So as long as you're not up in the wind, because as soon as you get up in the wind, it drops the temperature pretty significantly, and that sucks. You don't want that happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to move around a little bit, and I'm going to show you a few more points here. So the Fenrir, it is, I'm going to speed it up here in a second, and I'll show you where you can typically find a few of them. We'll just do slow-mo 1,000. But that is the Ice Wyvern Scar, just so you can see it down there. You can see right here we've got another little point to anchor yourself with, um, and it's kind of just like the little V. It's the basically the complete opposite side of Blue Ob. Blue Ob is basically right over there. This little V right here sits on the other side, so you know you're about halfway around the circle once you hit the V. And again, remember, this is just a giant circle. So all you have to do to keep doing this and like move around this entire map is stay with the, the stay with the circle. And there's nothing super special about it. That's just how it is. So you can see you got some red trees mixed in here. Again, only a few basic things that are really useful in this zone. You only have a few caves, so don't worry too much. Um, notice how the other side over here also not very cold, not very cold at all. I'm not any freezing in any way, shape or form. It's actually what? 12 degrees still. So that's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go down a little bit here, and you can kind of see that there's a nothing super special. I'm going to go down a little bit further, and I'm going to show you where this next cave is. It's difficult to find without the coordinates of it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move a little bit further down. Where did it go? I think this might be it. No, maybe that's not it. I thought I had it man i was close to it oh well we still have a bunch of other stuff to check out anyways so there are not very many is this it this might be it nope that's not it all right but notice how there's no wind over here again if you find underneath the map you should be completely safe so don't worry too much about it so over here you got the water access um everything you could need is down here you can see silica pearls it is a very unforgiving area so this entire zone of uh just in general this entire zone sucks it's not fun it's miserable um so only come here for fenrirs and ice wyverns there is no reason to try and live over here unless you find like a rat hole or a hidden cave that you can go to because it's very dangerous not somewhere fun to go all right so let's see if they kept it they kept it sweet so see right here where i'm at right now 70.6 44.8 if you go right here there is a very nice cave. Now this cave has a very small entrance right here. It is buildable. Yep, you see it right here. You gotta be careful. You need to take yourself some of that right there. And this entire cave, I'm just gonna run down this so you can see, is a very large area. It is cold. I want you to keep that in mind. There used to be something right here, obviously they removed it. And uh, boom, you have yourself a nice little buildable area. Oh, they got rid of it too. You used to be able to get behind this. But this is a very nice area that you can build in. Now notice, negative 48, so you're going to freeze in here. But you could build a base in here. And there is nobody in their right mind that's going to be able to survive it. If you get enough air conditioners, there's a couple of crouch points in this cave. I'm going to show you. By crouch points, I just mean areas that you're not going to be able to get past. Right here, look at this. How are you going to get past that? Explain that to me. 
it's negative 49 degrees Celsius in some areas, 70 point that. There's no way you get, I mean, they got rid of some of it, but it's no way you get past that stuff right there. So that is one of the caves that you can go to in this map. Uh, not Nothing else outside of that one stands out. There used to be a couple of really cool things on this map area, but unfortunately they got rid of most of them from the appearance of it. They've got some cool graphics like this one right here. Obviously you can see the wyvern that crashed and unfortunately is now frozen to death right there, but whatever, pretty cool looking still. Um, outside of that, there's like Fenrir is the only reason that you really want to come to this map, unless you are a PVP player and you find yourself a little hidey hole here. That is pretty much the only reason that you want to come to this area. Because outside of that, there's nothing super special here. Um, there's probably an artifact in the artifact cave, but it's up to you whether you use it or not. You see, this used to be an artifact cave, and they got rid of it. Yep, kind of sucks. I'm going to go ahead and ghost in and see if they got rid of the entire thing. So yes, yeah, so they just straight up erased it. This used to be the artifact cave, but you can't get in there anymore, unfortunately. You can see that's the cords of it. Um, but it's a very, very cool area. So you can do whatever you want. Um, this entire map is unforgiving. The Fenrir is really the only reason to be down here. In all honesty, there's not much else to be down here for. So I'm going to go ahead and scan one more time now that we've been down here for a little bit. We'll see if some Fenrir spawned in at all. Um, and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we'll go ahead and put up this right here. We forgot to drink our water. So now that we drink our water again, we should be good. Okay, Dino Scan. Fenrir, still not finding any. You can see the Ferox is on the map, but not there. All right, so I will fast forward until we actually get one on map. All right, guys, so I wasn't able to get one in, so I just brought one in so you can see what they look like. They look like the wolf, as you can see. They're a little more aggressive looking, obviously, and this is kind of what they look like. I had to bring this one in because I couldn't get one to spawn in naturally, but they do spawn down here. So this is what you're looking for. You can see they kind of run this circle, and they're pretty neat. They are very fast. Uh, that is one thing about them that's kind of interesting. I don't know. What, what are you doing, bud? And you can see there's the tamed version of it. They have pretty good stats. They have a bit like a literal natural armor. And uh, they have some special abilities like this freezing ability right here. And you can see that they kind of like do this icicle thing, which is pretty cool. And uh, they've got a bunch of basic stuff. But this is pretty much the only thing that you want to worry about over here. Everything else isn't super worth it down in this zone. It's probably the most unforgiving, just terrible zones in Ark. So, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out explore a little bit and realize that it's not super worth going down to this zone. But other than that, teach. Out.